The United States is witnessing an interesting shift in where its wealthiest individuals choose to live. This trend, fueled by a combination of factors, includes the search for lower taxes, a better work-life balance, and a pro-business environment. So what cities are millionaires moving to in the US? We're gonna talk about that right now on the Proto Topics Pulse. So this is a good one. This is, I think this is exciting because when you think, right, what are the cities that millionaires or rich folks are moving to in the US? What are the first ones that would come to mind? Just like, I know you know what the answers are for like what they actually are, but- I mean, what, I feel like you, you, think think? Of, you think of like New York City, LA, Miami, and okay, maybe so none Vegas. Of those. And, and no, okay, none of that either. <laughs> <laughs> but those are like the big ones that have like, they have the lights, the party, the action. Like, I feel like those are the ones that are always so closely associated with money that that's right. where my mind initially would go to. But if those aren't even on the list, I can only imagine what is there. Because truth be told, I didn't study for this. I actually don't know what's on the list. Oh, good. You don't know. I have oh, no so clue. Yeah, this is a surprise, yeah, a surprise okay. for me. So here is something really interesting. So here are the, there are the five uh, most relocated to cities if you're a millionaire. Here's where okay. the millionaires are moving to in the United States. So number five, which I think is controversial because of the amount of people leaving this place, but the Bay Area of California. So, so oh, yeah. millionaires specifically, millionaires, not regular Americans, are moving to places like San Francisco. I'm actually very surprised by that. <laughs> I'm very surprised by that too, but that you know what that means is uh, people are, so as the people that can no longer afford it are, are leaving the people who are moving in trying to get, I want to say part of the tech bubble maybe. Yeah. Uh, but that's, see, that's something we don't under, we don't know or understand, but it's people that are uh, making more than a million dollars are moving in to San Francisco, which makes, which but is very interesting to think about. I'm interested in that because I believe that they're moving into San Francisco because so many things have left San Francisco that they're thinking they might be able to take advantage of it while it's in the in the low. Yeah. Because when well, I lived Bay in San Area, Francisco, I used to live there. And when I lived there, it was happening. That was, you know, 2017, 2018. And it's since kind of the pandemic, it's had this like really big uh, downswing in crime in, in, you know, people that are there, the, the big companies are leaving, going other places. So San Francisco, really, really surprised. But What's up for the uh, number four? Uh, number four. Yep. Greenwich and Darien, Connecticut. You're lying. Don't tell Greenwich me this. Greenwich and Darien, Connecticut. That's number four for millionaires, oh, right? That's goodness. where they're going, okay? I've never been there. I don't know what the appeal is to go there. There is none. Number three. <laughs> Skip right past it. Palm Beach and West Palm Beach, Florida. I believe it is number three that's where that's the top third place where millionaires are going yep next one scottsdale arizona wow scottsdale arizona number two great weather i mean i get it uh it's currently sitting around fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand millionaires wow uh growing by 102 percent 102 percent between 2013 and 2023 wow that's Scottsdale, Arizona. Good for them. Number one. Number one. Bring it on. Austin, Texas. Yes. <laughs> Woo! This is Austin. Austin right there. <laughs> Who needs dumb yeah. of Texas? <laughs> Listen, I'm excited by this one because I just moved to Austin. I am not a millionaire by any means, but I will pretend so that I can fit in with all of them. I love that. Yes, pinkies out. Absolutely. Pinkies out. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, I get, I get Austin. I get it because when you walk around the area and when you talk to the people, even the ones that are from here, one, it's a super friendly place. People are nice. Two, it's clean. It's a very clean location. It's well-maintained and well-kept. And on top of that, there's so much opportunity. Dell is here. Tesla is here. The Boring Company is here. Uh, we've got a ton of medical schools that have moved to the area. We've got a ton of, you know, restaurants that are here, Michelin star chefs. There's so much happening stuff in Austin, Texas, that this does not surprise me at all. This is an ad for Austin, Texas. Now. Yeah, please move. Let me know. I can help you with a moving company. 
Uh, the Lone Star State grew 110% between 2013 and 2023. Yep. Estimated right now, 32,700 millionaires have moved to Austin. Wow. Or are currently living in Austin, rather. Uh, the city is also home to 92 people worth more than 100 million. Woo. Dang. Okay. I mean, that's just massive. But what is that? So, so like, you know, California, that's, that's an average. You would have expected sure. California to appear on there, no matter what the economic environment, right? Right. But the other four. Yeah. How surprising is that? And what does that mean? Like, what is the main takeaway from that? Yeah. Like, look at all these places where the millionaires are going and look at where they're not going anymore. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm very intrigued by that. Con the Connecticut definitely surprises me. I am surprised yeah. to see Connecticut on there. I get it. That one has always had... My, my dad's from Connecticut. I've spent a lot of time there. So I'm a little surprised that Connecticut is on the list and people are moving there. But Florida makes perfect sense. Arizona makes perfect sense. Texas makes sense. It's also Southern. I think people are getting more and more into the mood of, I want better weather. I want happier people. I want more vitamin D with the sun. I want, you know, all of these things that you can get in the South that are like free because you're living in an environment like that. I think a lot of people want those things. I think it's going to be... Uh, you know, we, we've been seeing it over the last few years, I would say even before the pandemic really exploded, but there has mm -hmm. been just this exodus from the major states and cities. Right. I, I mean, to, like just for us, our lore, our backstory, right? We both moved to North Carolina. It was before yep. the pandemic, right? Because we were looking for a place for a better, I want to say a better life. Yeah. Right. Like we were just looking for a better life and we weren't going to find that in New York. Right. Right. I, you know, just for who we are at our age with what we do. Right. We were looking for someplace fresh. So I, I think it's less about the millionaires part of it. And it's more about the people are looking for better lives mm -hmm. and they're going to go to someplace else. They're going to go shop around, try different places until they find a place. You know, it, it, I don't care what kind of income you make. Everybody across the board, I think, is in the mindset of. What's better out there? Right. You know, maybe the is the grass greener on the other side of these state lines, and I want to go and check it out. Yeah. And I think that's just it. And I think people are looking for for better lives and better places. Yeah. And they're finding them. That's the thing. They're finding them in those other spots. Everybody thinks you got to move. Oh, you got to move to New York City. You got to move to oh, Los Angeles. It's like no, those <laughs> places suck. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Those places those places just aren't worth worth spending all of that money to live in that condensed lifestyle with where it is not clean. The subways are disgusting in New York. The streets are are covered in it's just why would you want to live there in that environment? What's the benefit, right? But what are you getting David, for your money? That's where they film all the movies. Eh, but, but the <laughs> movies all suck now. Well <laughs> I should have said that to the wrong person. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, well, I'm living where Friends was, but yeah, but it's not the 90s anymore. I know. No, I mean, <laughs> that, it definitely is interesting, too, to see this list because I, I, there are places that we did expect to be on the list that weren't there, right? I, I really thought Nashville was going to be there. I really right. did. If you asked me blindly, I would have I would have said Nashville because there's so much happening and I think this is a really crazy like connection, but so many things are happening in Nashville that Beyonce is now a country singer. Like what? <laughs> that's that's insane, right? Beyonce is like the pop queen goddess and everybody loves her. And she just released a, a country song. I think that, you know, speaks to the fact that country is a growing um, demographic or a growing style of music. That's great. For, you know, people that are into that, I happen to be, but Nashville surprises me. But also, um, I've heard a lot of good things about Utah recently. Like, um, the, the southern parts of Utah, near, like, Zion, you've got, like, St. George. I feel like anytime you and I are working with uh, some of our different clients, and we look at different softwares that we want to introduce to the company for people to use, I feel like 80% of the time so far, they're in St. George, Utah. It's like, it feels like it's like a tech hub that just exploded yeah. out of nowhere. 
or hey, we're on mountain time or you know it's in that area yeah so it's i i, I agree i would have to say I, I do feel that too so utah is the place but right you know i give it give it a give it a few years you're gonna see salt lake city explode oh. thank you for watching this video i hope you got something out of it and learned something new and if you did and you haven't subscribed yet maybe considering subscribing to the channel where we have a lot more videos just like this available for you now like the video if you haven't already and if you didn't like it downvote it also comment let us know what you think are we wrong or did we get it right we would love to hear your thoughts and we answer as many comments as we can in the chat and available every video and if you're looking for something new to watch right here here's a new video we just queued up for you so thank you so much and we hope to see you again real soon